Hey, what's happening guys? Best NHL Clips here, and today we are back with episode number two of our Be A GM series with the Edmonton Oilers. So, let's jump right into it. First off, before we get into this, I was reading some of your guys' comments, and uh, first I just want to show you that I did add into our amateur scout. Uh, when we get more points, I'll upgrade the medical staff there. But uh, I did that, and uh, you guys were giving me some great options for some trades and stuff like that. And uh, we were thinking about signing some uh, free agents. So right now, I'm going to have a clip up on the screen real quick. All I did was trade away a couple of no-name prospects that weren't even signed, that were going nowhere, uh, to free up some space on our roster for some free agents. So here it is. All right, there we go. And now I just want to sign a couple of free agents first. And I was hearing a lot for this goalie right here, Mc, uh, McCullum, McCullum, Tom McCullum, something like that. So uh, he wants a two-way contract, so we'll, we'll give him the max he wants for the years he wants. And that way, hopefully, we can get him on our team. Uh, next off, I want to go to skaters here. Uh, Reckonin. I know he only has four red uh, potential, but from what I remember, this guy becomes a defensive juggernaut. Like, absolutely, like, defense max out completely. So, we'll pick up Lekkonen if we can. Uh, I also seen comments saying pick up Andreas Johnson. I'm not sure how good he becomes, but it's worth a shot. It's a prospect. Alright, there we go. And uh, Conan, don't want you, don't want Levy. Uh, Wickstrand, I'm not sure what this guy becomes, but he seems like he could become something. So there we go. And uh, yeah, as far as all actual skaters go and stuff like that, oops, go to overall here. I Like Ian White, way too expensive. Uh, Wolski, not worth it, Clark. I think we're just going to save our cap until uh, the, the next free agency kind of deal. But... I did want to make a couple of trades here, so let me just go show you our trade block real quick. I updated it, we want first and second round picks for this year and next year, and as you can see, that's where I got that second round pick from Anaheim there, and uh, it, it's definitely going to help because the prospect pools for these couple of years are definitely going to be what we want. And then uh, current uh, picks for the third and fourth, I'm willing to give those up. And uh, I just have a couple of prospects that I know Darnell Nurse, there's a bit of controversy there, but I am pretty sure he doesn't get better. And when he does get better, it's not till he's like 26 years old. So I'm willing to trade Darnell Nurse for a defensive prospect who's going to be better within the next year or two kind of deal. And I already have something lined up for that. So let's go over to my wants here. And uh, I figured we could use a starting goalie. Now, the only thing is, Fast is a starting goalie. So, I have an idea there. So, uh, I, I was doing some pre-scouting, and Bishop becomes unreal. I know he only has one year left to get better, but every series I see him in, he becomes absolutely stellar. I was thinking Fast and uh, one of our goalie, uh, young goalie prospects here, um... Are, would be the best bet, especially because they want him. So uh, we have two goalie prospects here that are worth it, and the one I was willing to give up was uh, Brossot. Uh, I don't know if that's how you actually say his name, so sorry if I'm wrong, but those were the ones I was willing to give up there, and in return we can get ourselves Ben Bishop. So I think that's a pretty good trade, and I mean, we're saving ourselves on some cap. And it looked like it might go through, but just in case, let me add something in. Uh, let's go a fifth, six, uh, yeah, and a seven. There we go. Uh, too far off, eh? Wow. All right, one second. Let's see if we can add a fourth into that. Ooh, they are wanting a lot. Seems pretty even. Alright. Uh, third for next year. Let's see. Oh, wait. Third and a fourth. 
So saw it fast for Bishop. Are you kidding me? All right, all right. Let's see who else we have to offer up here. Uh, skaters matching block. All right, they do want some of these guys here, so that might help. Left wing grinder. Yeah, he has nothing that I want. Um, Hamilton. Uh, two way for it. He's only. Yeah, yeah. We can get rid of these guys. So, Hamilton and. They want this guy too, might as well, right? Oh, yeah. We can get rid of him too. So, why isn't he getting in there? Alright, there we go. Now, are they wanting to give away anybody? Uh, skaters interested in giving away. Oland, how many years left? <laughs> no way. Ain't doing that one. Uh, Alright, let's just take some of their worst prospects and even this out. Uh, there we go. That should go through. I don't see why not. Because they do want all those players. Oh my goodness. It's just ridiculous. Uh, see, we have the second round pick, but I don't want to throw it in there. Alright, third. And this year's third. Along with... get rid of some of these. Alright, if this doesn't go through, then I give up on Bishop. But I mean, oh, it seems so even. It just, really, I, I don't see why this shouldn't go through. Two-thirds, uh, Awanek, Brossia, Fath for Bishop, and uh, Witkowski. There we go. It's a done deal. So, uh, we probably lost some GM reputation there, but I, I don't really care about that because when all's said and done, what's it really matter? And we got Ben Bishop as our starter now. So uh, edit lines manually and let's we'll throw in uh, Bishop into that starting goalie position. So hopefully he can get at least a bit of a jump too. And uh, best lines for AHL. Now there's one other trade I did want to try and make. And that would be including Darnell Nurse for an up-and-coming, who's already good right now, prospect. And uh, I was looking at John Carlson here. I mean, he looks he looks really friggin' good. I just don't know if they want Nurse. Do they? Please say they do. Oh my god, they don't. Alright, one second. Let, let's just go back here for a second. How are we on the Washington Capitals? Get out of here. Alright, so... Uh, trade block. Uh, top four defense. Alright, now, a couple others that I was looking at here. We could go for Del Zotto. I'm not sure how good he actually gets, though. Um, Keith Yandel, too, is somebody I was looking at. But, uh, you know what? Carlson's just so worth it. Uh, Cowan, too, though. I was looking at Cowan. He's a defensive demon. Uh, Shattenkirk. Four and a half. Four and a half for Shattenkirk. Uh, and he's, he's worth less. It depends. Do they want Nurse? Uh, no, they do not. Alright. I'll be right back when I figure something out here. Alright boys, we are back and I found the perfect player I want for Darnell Nurse. He's a defensive defenseman which will really help our lack in defense because we do have a lack in defense. He is 4 star, 4 star, 4.5, uh, skating 4.5, 4.5 and, and, and defense 4.5. Uh, he's 4.5 gold star potential. Eric Johnson, 25 years old, 85 overall and that's basically like Nurse's peak. Like, if Nurse was to get to his peak, that would be it. And uh, so I definitely think that's worth it. And then Muzel, I know for a fact this guy does not get better. And he has that extra little bit of trade value. So I'm also going to throw in a 5th, 6th, and 7th to sweeten the deal. And take back a player because their roster is pretty full. So, will it go through? Yes, there we go. Colorado does accept our trade offer. So there we go. Nurse uh, is now gone off our team, 
and uh, we can add in Eric Johnson. We basically just upgraded a prospect for an already NHL ready player. I think it was an absolutely great trade and uh, it definitely benefited this team. So defenseman we can send down. Uh, I don't know why all these guys are up here actually. Alright, so you get out of here. Uh, you get out of here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So who who are we gonna get rid of here? Larson. Alright. Uh, no no, you're staying. And Clef Bomb, you can go down for one more year. So there we go. Uh, we still got 5.5 million, and uh, let's just let's just go best lines, and we'll go in and we'll edit those lines right now. And uh, I did see another great comment as well, saying uh, to keep the captains the same, uh, make it more realistic. So I think that's a great idea. Uh, also, we are needing defense big time. So. Let's go for that Ekblad, six weeks, OHL. Uh, that way, if we don't make the playoffs, we have a good chance. And, uh, yeah, so, now, into our lines. Uh, so, we are keeping Ference as the captain, uh, just until he retires. He can stay here until he retires. And then, I'm just going to have three A's and let somebody earn their captaincy. So, Hall and Eberly will stay as the assistant captains. And uh, then we're going to have Gagne, Perron, and Yakupov, a two-way forward playmaker sniper combo, always works. Uh, then I want Horak, our prospect sniper, up on this line to make uh, uh, another line here with uh, Gordon, who has 88 faceoffs, absolutely awesome. And Johnson, and then Arcabello, Hendricks, who has 85 faceoffs. And Eager is pretty much our goon. Look at that physical. So he's going to be the goon of the team. And uh, on to the defense here. we got to get Schultz some playing time, though. So I'm going to do Schultz and Johnson with Ference and Petri. We'll have an all-defensive D-man line here. And uh, we, we want Johnson and Schultz to for sure get the playing time. So there we go. Power play lines. Uh, Eric Johnson and Schultz looks pretty good to me. Uh, and we, we're going to do two months of simming, and then, you know, if that's when I'm going to decide if we should uh, change up the lines or anything. You guys also give me your opinions on any line changes we should make and everything like that, and also any trades we should make, but that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to wait two months, and then we'll stop the simulating there, and you guys can uh, give your input and all that stuff, and we can make any line changes we need to make, and I'll show you the... Uh, Oh, the stats and everything like that, and that'll be the episode. So, last but not least, just want to make sure injuries are off real quick. There we go. Alright, so, let's get right into it here. Preseason does not even matter to me, so we'll simulate past that real quick. And uh, let's see if we get those prospects that we tried to sign. I wanted to welcome welcome you to the Edmonton Oilers organization, our new GM for the next three years. It's all about winning, and I'm setting your initial target as 38 wins this season. Keep me happy, you keep your job. Now go out there and make me happy. We'll see what we can do. Oh, so we already earned rookie status. So let's add uh, some more into medical staff, get ready for the playoffs here. And... Uh, GM rep, GM rep has now dropped. Jesus. All right, so McMullen, yes. Lekkinen, yes. Uh, Andreas Johnson. Uh, oh, our roster is full. And Wickstrand. So, um, all right, let's see what we can do here. See if we can't trade away a couple more real crappy prospects and uh, get a second round pick out of it and sign those two players. And I'll be right back. There you go. As you can just see, we traded away two shitty prospects and our fourth round pick to upgrade to a third round pick from Winnipeg, so a whole nother level. And uh, that opens two spots on our roster 
to sign these two players that we wanted to sign, uh, Johnson and uh, Wickstrand. So hopefully we can get them. Hopefully they want to be a part of our team, and now we can finally get into the simulation. If we can't get them, then who cares? I'm not going to go and try again. But I just wanted to refill some of our prospect pool with better prospects than we even had. And there we go. Wickstrand's on the team. So uh, Johnson's on the team as well. So there we go, boys. Looks pretty good to me. And uh, let's get into uh, the regular season simulation here. Uh, let me know, like I said, if uh, what you thought of the trades, what we should do with more trades, line changes, everything like that. Your comments are what helps this series. Hey, it's your boss. I know that we have to take a long-term approach on success in this franchise at this stage. I'll be happy, happily surprised if you make the playoff, but won't be angry if you don't. There we go. Thank you. So, on to the regular season here. Let's get one month of simulation in. We'll check some things. Then we'll do our second month. And then, after two months, you can get a feel of what our team's actually going to be like. Because you'll be about 20 games in. And uh, we can make all of our changes from there. You guys can comment what we should do. We can start moving around some lines. All that stuff. But off to 2 nothing. Uh, oh, alright. Never mind. Spoke too soon. 6-2. Come on, Bishop. 5-4. Oh, not even an overtime loss. All right. Somebody. Let's get a win. Let's get back on the winning track. Toronto has a good record, though. Uh, come on. There we go. 5-2. Ferentz, 7 assists. Holy crap. The captain, 8 assists. Stepping up huge. All right. Uh, 4-3. Not, not too bad so far. Uh, better than I expected, especially with all the 70s we have on this team, on that third and fourth line. I mean... We do need to uh, take this more as a rebuilding team rather than a, a playoff-ready team. But 6-3, and three, I mean, it looks good so far. Scouting assignment, let's get back to uh, OHL defense here. Really just everybody knows who the top prospects are in the first two years, so it's kind of pointless. But uh, it, it's more meant for the, the later years when we have no clue who the prospects are. And they're just generating random names at that point. 7-3-1, and one, though. So good so far. The Nuge, 9 assists. Uh, Bishop has all 7 wins, so I wonder if they've even played Scrivens. Uh, ooh. All right, come on. Let's not lose 3 in a row. There we go. Come back with a win. That's what I like to see. And there we go. We take the Leafs, and we're 9-4-1 and one to start off. So... Uh, are we up here for save percentage? Edmonton, no, and no. Uh, Bishop has the wins, though. Uh, Everly, 16 points already. Looks good. Uh, nobody's up there for goals, but for assists, we have Everly also. So, pretty decent. Uh, we're second in our division, so uh, not too bad. So let's go one more month here, and then I'm going to stop the simulation and get all of your guys' input on what we should do. 9-4-1 right now, let's keep this up and uh, hopefully uh, be in a good position come uh, the stop of this simulation. So I'm going to stop it if we start to lose too many games though and we'll just go from there. But we started off with a win, so that's what I like to see. Ooh, 5-1 loss to uh, Florida there. Alright, come on, come back with a win. Tampa. Oh, this one's taking a while. Oh, no. Alright, that's two losses in a row. Let's not make this three. Come on, we can take Philly. Look at that record. Look at that record. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Stop the simulation. That's four in a row. Stop the simulation. Jesus, what's this game doing? Alright, we're going to go one more game here. If we lose, then I'm just going to stop it here, and you guys can give your input on what we should do, but uh, come on, beat Dallas. No, we lost. We lost. All right. It's going to be a good year for rookies. We already know that. So we're now back to 10, 9, and 1. We had a bit of a collapse there. Uh, anybody still up here for uh, stats and stuff like that? We still got Everly up there. Uh, Everly's up there in the assists as well. And, uh, yeah, we've fallen right off the earth. So I'm going to show you the stats here real quick before uh, we end this video. Let me know what you guys think we should do. Right now, we are in a playoff position, but barely. 
Uh, goals for per game, that is not looking good. Uh, goals against per game, also not looking good. Uh, real bad there. Power play. Uh, that's, that's, you know, it's early in the season. Could get better, could get worse. And our penalty kill, that is actually a really strong penalty kill. All these higher teams are going to come back down to earth. So if our penalty kill stays at uh, 84.8, I'm perfectly happy with that. And, uh, ooh, 3, 6, and 1 in the last 10. So, uh, we are a very badly disciplined team, though. So maybe I should get rid of that, uh, that fourth line uh, grinder there, our fourth line enforcer. But uh, I'll just show you the stats one more time. And uh, you guys can show me and tell me what line changes you think we should do. The Nuge, Eberly, and Hall are playing good. I'd like Hall to step it up a bit. He's supposed to be our our, uh, our number one there. Uh, Yakupov on the second line. That can get a bit better. Ferentz is doing absolutely amazing. Johnson doing absolutely amazing. What a great trade that was. Uh, Petri. Uh, yeah, it's basically all our defense in our first line right now. We have no depth. So, uh, Scrivens, ooh, alright, we need to find a backup goalie. Bishop is actually doing good, 91.02 um, and 2.58, that's respectable, I'll give him that, but I, I think it's I think it's Scrivens. We need to find ourselves a backup goalie, but let me know what you guys think we should do, and uh, yeah, comment down below, leave a like for episode number two. I hope to hear some great ideas from what you guys have. And uh, have a great day, you sexy studs.